Okay, so we're re reacting to some more blackout tattoos today. Woo! There's ah. like a stockpile of these things right now, so that's, they're getting a bit of priority. All right, so this one says, Team <clears throat> Remy, I just saw you reacted to my video. Here's an update as requested. I didn't eat prior to the seven hour session. It took- Good start. It took a few lollipops and Snicker bars in order for me to stand on my own. It took about 30 minutes. This is why we eat before we get tattooed, guys. No, no um, not all of us do. Not all of us do. Well, this is, you should. Um, artists used Allegory <laughs> Ultra Black Ink 45 Meg, attached some updated pictures. Tattoo was done end of April 25th. Pics attached are at the two month mark June. So, is this the guy that, like, was this the trad guy? Like, the, the walk in? Or is this a different dude? I feel like this was walk in blackout. Yeah, this looks like walk in blackout guy. He got done by the, the trad tattoo. And we were like, oh, that's actually pretty good. And it still looks decent. Yeah. Especially, he probably bled a lot. When you don't eat enough, you bleed more. Yes. So that's another so. thing to make note of. So if you bleed a lot, it pushes out the ink and then yeah. it's harder for us to saturate and get it in there. So make sure you have like a really well, good also, meal before you get a tattoo. Let me speak the language of like the people here because like not anyone cares about what a tattooer's life consists of. They don't give a fuck about how hard you have to work. They don't, trust me. Uh, he, let me explain this to you in a way that you will you will understand and care about. It will cost you more dollars, more, more money. It will cost you more money, more, more zeros to get your tattoo done because it takes longer to tattoo you and tattooers get paid hourly. Yeah. Right? So and they're it's not, fighting to get it into it's you. It's not like tattooers start doing it on purpose. If your skin is shit, we can't help it. Yeah, if you have terrible skin and you're bleeding like like you just drank a two four yeah before you came in then you're gonna be a bad time yeah like i would like i always some like, artists might just shut it down don't drink <laughs> the day before a tattoo like don't go get drunk bad idea eat a good breakfast yeah uh, maybe for that whole week before your tattoo drink a shit ton of water do you normally not eat is this the idea like there's so many people who you don't eat breakfast right like yeah a lot but of people when i get tattooed eat. i eat breakfast a lot of people don't eat like at all like they, they they'll eat like chips and like they'll have a soda and then they'll get like a fucking uh whopper and that's hygiene and fucking or not hygiene that's their diet that's their fucking i guess it's part of their hygiene too Remy is always making fun of me because he says that i you eat, eat like, like a bird a bird <laughs> you do you're just like whatever you happen into like it's like oh a little nuts today a little seed here a little a little bite of this. It's not actually little... true. I eat quite a bit, but uh, by no, REM no. standards, not so much. No, you do the thing where, like, every now and then you'll just scarf something down <laughs> very quickly. And it's like, you normally don't eat that fast. But, like, she, she piles it up in big meals every now and then, which is not really great for you, but it is what it is. I'm thin. You're thin. And, I, I mean, I, I, I was that way at one point in my life, too. But the bottom line is you should, if you if only the day before your, or the, the morning before your tattoo, you should eat breakfast. At very least. A, to stand up on his own feet, it took some Snickers bars. Yeah. Like, that's why we keep granola bars and Pepsis here. Mm-hmm. Because, like, and well, all the girls have candy now. Every, yeah, every, every, all the girl artists, we all have candy at our stations. I eat more of my own candy than You know I what Rick's out, got but... his station? Fuck off. He's got no candy over uh, there. No, he has a literal drugstore worth of yeah, uh, of course he does. stuff over there. He's, He's got, got a pharmacy like, over there. Back, but there's no there's, there's no lollipops like, over there. Tylenol. You're shit out of luck for Snickers bars over there. Uh, Pepto Bismol. Anyways, let's talk about the tattoo. <laughs> um, it's a first pass blackout, and the elbow is better than it should be. Yeah. Like I don't know why the elbow Isn't is. Isn't this second pass? No, he said first pass. Oh, I thought this was the update. No. This oh. is this is healed. Oh, okay, okay, this okay. This is two months. No, this looks good. He used a 45 mag, which is, I don't... I mean, he might have meant a 49 mag. I don't see too many 45 mags. Also, uh, Allegory Black is one that we only have a, a little bit of familiarity left here. We don't really use it. We have used it. Uh, Kevin brought some of that 
allegory black in here and Rick tried to use some on me and it wasn't super black on black, right? It didn't show up very well. Although there are some people who swear by it. Mm -hmm. So there are people who put it higher than Panthera, but I really think like, I think it's just brand loyalty to be honest with you. I think black, especially black next to anything else, it looks super black. So it doesn't really matter that much unless you're the, the complete extremities of things. There is a video that I've seen on uh, YouTube. I think it was Pony Lawson. He did like uh, a bunch of tests with different black inks mm -hmm. and uh, how they looked fresh, how they looked a month later. And then he was going to do an update. Uh, I don't know if they've done the update video, but they all look almost the same. There, there are some slight variations. Um, and he used each of them for lining, each of them for shading, and each of them for packing. And he was going to see like like almost on like a, a yearly basis how they how they aged and how the look of the black changed yeah curious and there were some that were better than others for like a black black but they were all more similar than a lot of people would think mm -hmm. right like people put a lot of emphasis on silly things and tattooing <laughs> like people say this all the time like with the work that we're doing on me like whoa what ink are you using for all that like they're expecting me to be like Oh, it's ink forged in the fires of Mount Doom. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they're waiting for some crazy story, some huge upsell or the something. The blackest black from the abyss. No. Yeah. Um, I do. I have two different blacks on my you arm. You can see a bit of difference. And I can see the difference, but you really have to actually look for the but difference. But it's also not like one isn't black. No, like they're, they're both, both black, black, but one of them has like a bit more of like a blue tone and the other one not so much in my skin. But I don't know if it would be like that. Because, like, your skin tone has, I think, a lot to do with it, too, anyways. It looks like he's just got some streakiness in here. I don't think that that's scar tissue. No, it's streakiness in, in there. And blackouts can look like scar tissue. It's just skin that isn't fully saturated. You can see some mag stripping. The uh, scar tissue look has more of a texture. Mm. So I don't think that he's overly scarred. Oh, that's good. Some nincompoops would call this scar. To, they, some people think if you tattoo someone, then they're immediately scarred. Like, like they'll look at me and they're like, how do they even tattoo you with all that scar tissue? It's like, if you don't fuck someone up every time you touch them, you yeah. can tattoo them. I mean, like, the <laughs> line where my blackout starts has no texture. So yeah, I would say I'm not scarred at all. You don't have to scar someone by tattooing yeah. them. Like, it's, it's not a one-to-one -one fucking ratio i think this is like some old dog thing where they think like oh in order for it to be tattooed stay it has to be scarred in there it's like no that's not the way it works mm -hmm. so no i don't know this has the problems that i would imagine especially the guy who did this as i recall had no experience blacking anyone out and this was a walk-in like if this had, should look a hell of a lot worse no no I'm, i think it looks quite good for for I mean, I, I would go back to this guy. The fact no way I would ever be able to do one this good. Like, uh, you will eventually. And, and eventually, yes. But at my current level, and like, I think a lot of the artists in our shop would struggle getting this nice of a well, saturation. Well, I mean, given all the, like, the whole scenario, especially, like, yeah. it's not an ideal situation. No. So in seven hours is a long time to be blacking someone out anyway. Of course he needed a fucking Snickers to stand up. Mm -hmm. And I feel like- Yeah, cut that shit. Trad artists pack color lots, so. It's, yeah, it's, it's just- They're built for this. I don't <laughs> recommend don't seven hours of blackout. No, I, I think like you should do like four hours max and that's, yeah, that's pushing it. That's a lot of trauma on the body. Even if this guy had a steak instead of a fucking nothing, instead of nothing, he still would have been in, in some significant trauma by the end of that. But. Yeah, I don't know. I think he achieved smooth black and quite a bit of this. And mm -hmm. then there's some patchiness here and there. No real crazy scar. But the patchiness is on the places where you would expect. To, yeah. Right? It's not like weird. Like the underarm, of course, it's softer skin. The thing is, is like when you... get in there, spongy. A fresh blackout, like it looks pitch black. So like you just go, it looks solid. Like you're going to have to wait and see how it heals. That's why these things need two passes almost always, at least. Mm -hmm. And anyone who tells you otherwise is a fucking con artist. Anyway, we're going to move along here. So we have another email here, another story. Okay, let me reach for it. All right, let's see. So this says, oh goodness, something popped up. Okay, 
My name is Brandon. I'm trying to get rid of old affiliated tattoos on my body. Um, I've uh, practiced regular tattooing for three years now and just started trying to black out or black my arm out. Sorry. Um, I'm not going well at all. It's not going well at all, sir. Uh, this is from week two of healing. There is a before and after. I used a 45 meg again um, to try and black my arm out. Didn't go so well. Uh, feel free to post on your channel. I like a good laugh. Tore myself up badly. Uh, could have got a bad infection easily. Thanks. Oh, man, this is like another huge uh, chunk. Uh, Does it wrap all around or is it just to frick the top? I mean, I'm just seeing the top, but that's still to me like a huge chunk to be doing on yourself. Um, this is this is a all right amount to do, um, but like not on yourself when you've never blacked anything out before. And again, this is that thing where I tell you this like quite often, and I don't think you realize how often this is. But like people think that blackout is the easiest thing it's to do. It's not. <laughs> Tits. And then you end up in the hospital. It's crazy, yeah. You, it's, how many of these... Easy. I have specific episodes of this show dedicated towards botched blackouts. Yeah. Because there are so many of them. This could be in there, mm -hmm. right? And I guess how many other tattoos you see botched. Right. Very infrequent. Because you know why? Because the standard for a good blackout is higher than a good tattoo. I think so too. It, it, it's not even about whether we think so, though. It's this in, inarguable. Oh yeah. It's in inarguable because a blackout to be good has to be perfect. Yeah. I'm a black and gray cat has so much forgiveness in oh, it. Oh yeah. Because as long as you realize it's a cat, it doesn't matter that it looks like shit. It doesn't matter that none of the shading is good and your lines are terrible, because it's like, oh, the brain's happy. Oh, you did a kitty. Look at the fucking kitty. Oh, happy kitty. It's like, no, no. Kitty sucks. Kitty is terrible, and the guy who did it is a meth head. Doesn't matter. It's a cat, right? Whereas with Blackout, it's like, if that guy does that sleeve, guess what it looks like? It looks like a meth head did it. Yep. You know what I mean? Because it's spotty, it's infected, it's all fucked up, and it looks like shit. Because it's just one tone. You got to get it all perfect, right? So... I'm going to do, like, my damnedest throughout this YouTube show to just always remind people what they're doing with Blackout is a significantly larger amount of trauma. And the, the bar for quality is it has to be a 10, right? It has to be a 10. And if it's not a 10, it looks like shit. It can be a different color of black. It can be a different fucking uh, technique that you use. But it has to be smooth, and it has to all be the same black. It's much harder than what people think it is. Guess what? Uh, it's harder for Terry to do a blackout sleeve, theoretically, than it is for him to do one of those soft black and gray cats. For sure. It just is. There's more errors, right? You get instant feedback. It's like, oh, that's going to need a touch up. Look at Ashlyn's arm. It's still not perfect, mm -hmm. right? He hasn't had to touch up any of the other tattoos he's done on her. So it's like, it should into it, but it doesn't. It's frustrating. Uh, and then, like, I also think it's pretty bold to try and do a blackout on your own arm. Um, well, look at I the state of the rest of his work, well, too. Well, I just think, like, you know, it's a spot that you, you... There is no possible way to stretch it well enough. Um, and then you're just causing trauma. So, like, I, mean, I would have started on, like, somewhere that you could have stretched. Has he got just, part like, of this arm. wrapped at the bottom? Uh, like, what has happened in there? It does not look nice down there. <laughs> Did you like leave part of the sanitor on or like what is the deal here? Is that newer than the top? Maybe you try it again? I don't know. I think he probably had a minor infection. Yeah. By the way. Like I don't think that this was I could have had an infection. I think he had an infection. I think but unless it's like very, very out of control, the body can heal like a minor infection on its own. Like I've had little ones where it's like you know, just dry it out. Well, you're like, fine. oh, this is probably a little bit infected. Yeah, but... that can happen, right? But, like, if it gets full-blown, then, you know, there's not much you're going to do about it. See, the problem is when this sleeve looks like this, fresh, like fresh after healing, it will look worse very soon. Oh, yeah. All of the spots that are, you know, touch and go right now are going to be very spotty soon. 
Like, they're going to be awful soon, so... Yeah, I would recommend getting, like, an expert to finish this before you give yourself so much fucking scar tissue that it's never going to have, like, a smooth texture to it, yeah. you know? Because, like, if you cover scars, you still see them on a blackout. Mm -hmm. Like, you still see those formations, so... Really doing this to yourself over tattoos that were probably already scarred based on the look of the, the work quality on his hand there. And now, put like, botching your own blackouts on your arm. You're going to have one hell of a fucking scarred up arm by the end of this. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's going to look nasty. Right? I would recommend going and having someone do this, like, finish this for you. If I, they'll, it's going to be hard, though. Not a lot of people are going to want to do it. Right? Not a lot of people are going to want to take it on. It's the other thing. Mm -hmm. 